And hello everyone, welcome back. Oh uh, yes, I have not uh, been posting in a while. So, but anyway, uh, I've been busy. You know, um, I have to face the bane of every student, which is something called exams and projects. So, pardon me if not been posting in a while. But anyway, so this video uh, is about okay. Let's say you've uh, processed uh, some data through OpenFOAM, and you are getting data like this. Okay, you're getting data like this, and you want to put it in uh, Excel, or if you're Arch user, or a Linux user, or Ubuntu user, you want to put it in some LibreOffice. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. So what then do you do? Okay. So I have this uh, data file uh, being opened with Mousepad because I'm using Manjaro now. Okay. So what's the problem with this? Okay. First thing first, uh, well, when I, let's say I'm assuming you already know how to do your post processing functions, and uh, this is what you get when you do like a area integral velocity, which is basically volumetric flow rate. Okay, I assume you know all of this, but now you have actually had so many pieces of data, so that's one problem. Okay, you have too many pieces of data over here. All right, let's say you only want data every 0 0.5 seconds. And yet you're having all these data here which you just want to delete. Okay, you want to delete all of this data. Okay, that's one problem. Second problem, uh, you want to plot these. Uh, these are actually x, y, and z velocities. And you kind of want to plot them out correctly. Okay, this is just an example because the... Uh, this is these are inlet flow rates. Okay, you set the velocity boundary condition to be y equals to whatever this is. Okay, Th this is the area integral, so it's actually some other value, but it's a constant value. Nevertheless, if let's say you want to plot this out and get a graph, how are you supposed to take this data into Excel, LibreOffice, and do something like that? So that's what this video is about. Hopefully, to show you. And today we are going to use, use LibreOffice because it's free. Okay, LibreOffice is the default for uh, most Linux distributions, or else you just have to install it yourself. And I wouldn't say most Linux distri distributions, but the most popular ones anyway for Ubuntu, Manjaro, Linux Mint, um, and some other easier Linux distributions. LibreOffice will be your default. Okay, so before, before I paste, okay. So normally, when you paste, uh, all I did was to co uh, control A and control C, which is to select everything here, to copy and paste. Okay, so when you paste, you are given this text import interface, right? All right, you have this text import interface. Normally, you'll have something like that. They will, you won't have. Uh, okay, over here, this this box here is where I kind of did do a custom thing. All right. So normally, I, if you deselect everything, uh, they will actually just um, paste it by rows. And what you'll what you get is this. A lot of all this text is just um, stuck together within one cell. All right? Ideally, you want the time you want the time to be in one, col uh, one column. You want the x velocity to be in one column, y velocity to be in one column, z velocity to be in one column. All right, so let's solve this problem first before we talk about row reduction. Because here we actually have about 50,000 rows of data. Now, uh, from experience here, um, 50,000 rows of data is a little bit much for LibreOffice. I think 20,000 is about where it starts to lag. Uh, where When I tried with LibreOffice, I actually had about 3, 300,000 rows of data. That was a nightmare to work with. But uh, these are just some lessons actually uh, I got from that. So first you, you paste. <coughs> first you paste. And first thing first, uh, we want to actually separate the time column from let's say the velocity column. So there are a number of separators here. So let's try and see what works. Okay, so we want to, again, we want to separate the time column from the uh, so-called this data column, uh, which is the area integral of velocity. So Let's see what the tab does, okay? The tab actually does uh, all of this. It actually gets rid of uh, 
gets rid of the discrepancy. Uh, it separates the time column from the area integral of velocity. You can see here, it actually does that very well. Okay, so if I do uh, use tab as a separator, I actually have the time here, and I have my velocity vectors here. And this time will be in a number format, if I'm not wrong. So for example, if I use a6, rho a6 divided by 0 0.1, okay, I get 0 0.1. So you're able to do math on that. However, with this vector, you cannot because this is these vectors are actually texts. Okay, these are texts. All right. So what then do you do with these vectors? Okay. So I'm going to do some control Z. Okay, and let's we'll come back to this interface. We use tab as separators. Okay, and this this will be the result. Okay, we can use space as separators as well. However, you will see that all these uh, columns, all, all the velocity, x, y, and z components will be in different columns because uh, depending on how many characters there are between um, the decim uh, between this, uh, let's say, time and uh, this velocity, depending on how many decimal places there are, you will have a different number of column spacings. So space is generally speaking not too good as separator so what are our other options we can use the semicolon okay semicolon doesn't do anything okay now what about this we can use the brackets as well okay we can use the brackets as well uh, because we um, we don't want we don't want these brackets hanging hanging around uh, our numbers because they will mess it up so what can we use? What can we do to get rid of the brackets? We can actually use the brackets themselves as separators. So for example, let me just type in the open and close brackets there. And there you can see we actually got rid of our brackets. So that's that's one thing. Okay? So how then are we going to separate the x, the y, and the z components of velocity here? Okay, the x, y, and z components of velocity, or the area integral of velocity, whichever. As long as you've got a vector with x, y, and z components, how are you going to separate them? Okay, you cannot use, you, you see that the most obvious way to separate them is with the use of the space separator. Okay, if I separate it out like this, you see that the x, y, and z are, uh, are separated by spaces. And now you have x, y, and z each in their own column. Sorry. Each in their own column so um, but then if you use the space separator now you still have this problem of having too many or too many columns for some too many columns of spacing between uh, some data points and well basically yeah too many for some too few for others in other words they are non-uniform you want your x uh, your x velocity to be in one column, y velocity to be one column, z velocity to be in one column. So, you know, uh, that, that kind of makes a problem. So we can't use this method. So what do we do? We'll just use this uh, tab and uh, uh, um, bracket separator. Okay. Tab and bracket separator. And then what do we do? We can do something next. All right. Now we have the x, y, and z uh, components of velocity within one column. Okay, so what do we do? Okay, con. Okay, what did I do? All right, I should introduce that to you. Okay, click on. Uh, make sure you are selecting your first velocity. Um, uh, vector within that column. <coughs> okay, so at time equals zero point zero one, you have some velocity vector, and this is a text. Okay, this is not a number. This is a text data point. Okay, so once you have this text data point, okay, select this, control, shift, and go down. All right, control, shift, and go down. So you can play around with this. Okay, control, shift, and go down. It will um, automatically select everything all the way down to the last data point here at 1918.1 seconds. Okay, 1918.1 seconds. Okay, it will. It will do that. So again, control shift and go down. If you want to uh, go back up, you just uh, hold control shift and go back up. It will go up to this U because this U is the last uh, so-called cell with a bit of text in it. 
or any bit of data in it because everything above it uh, the next the next bit is actually you know a spacing so um, that's how this control shift thing actually works so control shift down and that will select all of this what do you do here okay you go under data okay and depending on your LibreOffice layout you will have different ways of uh, uh, laying, uh, doing your user interface standard the standard LibreOffice way is like this you see data you can go to text to columns okay text to columns now if you don't like this interface uh, you can do some other interface um, but the the tool being used is exactly the same it is still a uh, text to columns so I mean my preferred way of uh, using these uh, toolbars or user interfaces with the tapped ones okay so data go to data and you look for text to columns text to columns is over here for this interface which is the tab interface otherwise uh, you'll find it in the drop down menu for the standard interface okay so text to columns what do you do now ah now now you see that uh, we won't have to deal with the separation between the time data point and the uh, velocity data point and so now we are actually free to use our space separator without any uh, ill effects so let's just click OK and this will separate it out into the X Y and Z columns okay and you will notice that you know there, there would have been some kind of a lag there because you're processing about 60,000 rows of data for Linux it's still less laggy than Excel I would say okay so it's a demo sheet one is have a reflex to keep saving yeah I have a reflex to keep saving uh, so control s all the time yeah so you will notice that um, uh, there are some lag so I actually just uh, control z it okay I control z I undid the the uh, so-called separation of numbers just to uh, demonstrate something okay so normally you don't you may not want to uh, what do you call that you not you, you may not want to perform this kind of uh, data separation on so many numbers okay uh, especially if you have like hundred thousand pieces of data etc you might want to reduce it first okay you for example let's say between okay 0 0.01 to 0 0.5 all of this data is you know to me maybe a little bit too much you don't want all this data around so what can you do okay just to give credit okay just to give credit I want to um, give credit to this video called how to easily reduce row count in Excel I took the idea from here so let me demonstrate what this idea is about okay basically it uses this function called mod okay modulus it basically calculates the remainder after division okay so uh, you take a number you divide by something and then you find the remainder so you so this is what mod is so for example 0 0.01 I want to divide it by 0 0.5 so mod a6 which is the cell that contains 0 0.01 I divide it by 0 0.5 I close bracket the remainder is 0 0.01 I can drag this down and you'll just repeat it for every cell here now notice all of this if they are not multiples of 0 0.5 you will find that the remainder is some positive number if there is no remainder which means it's a multiple of 0 0.5 okay this will actually be 0 now if you keep dragging this down you will notice that um, there are, you can actually capture data every 0 0.5 seconds uh, okay and the common denominator is that all of these uh, remainders are zero okay how do you use that to your advantage you use something called filters and before that uh, I want to uh, make sure I can paste this down for every single bit of data if I keep dragging it down like this it will work but it's gonna take a lot of time so what do I do okay I copy this formula over and now I go back to this uh, 
velocity column or the column where I have <coughs> excuse me the column where I have my vector I go all the way down using control down instead of control shift down you go control down so let me demonstrate again go somewhere to the top click somewhere here where you have your velocity data or your vector data go all the way down using control down and you just use your arrow keys to navigate okay I just press right to about four times and I paste the formula here and I'll control C the formula all right and what I'll do I'll use control shift up because that will go through all the blank spaces until it hits a filled space so all the all of these are blank spaces and control shift up what will it do control shift up it will select everything up to all the blank spaces until it hits a filled space okay this space is actually filled with a formula all right so I can actually just paste it here and there you go you notice everything here is now filled with uh, data okay they will they will have all these remainders here all right so what what can I do with this yeah now I can use something called filter so remainder okay let, let's now use the filter so I'm going to select this whole table okay so let me demonstrate I'm going to select this remainder control shift left control shift left again and control shift down so you can play around with this control shift uh, thing and um, yeah experiment around with it get a good feel of it and now what I'm gonna do I'm going to go under data again uh, for other layouts it will still be under data but it will be a drop down menu look for something that says auto filter okay look for something that says auto filter it will be under your drop down menu as well auto filter and go yes all right okay what what will you have now you can actually select uh, you can actually filter the rows by the numbers so if I deselect everything and I select the zero uh, then I'll have the data I actually want every 0 0.5 seconds I will have a bit of data okay now here's the trick okay here's the trick I'm going to just select this whole table now I'm going to select this whole table okay using the same control shift trick copy and I paste it here okay and the first sheet I will just if I really don't want anything now I'll just delete it and look at this now now you have data that's only every 0 0.5 seconds very neat and how many rows of data only about 3000 so now any operation you do on it will be much quicker okay so I'm going to delete off the remainder parts and I'm going to do my text to columns again this time you will see that it's a lot more instantaneous see instantaneous so now now that you have separated out all this data you can actually just do your usual plots or charts but this was the key thing about how to deal with um, open form post processing data especially if they are in vector form okay and then you can just plot your charts in Excel after that um, so that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching.